What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another budget gaming PC build and today we have a budget gaming PC under $200 only way I managed to build this PC under $200 because I was shopping around all over like offer up Facebook market eBay and Craigslist and I managed to pick up some good parts so today I'd like to share with you guys. So the motherboard I picked up for this build, Dell T1500 motherboard uh, socket LGA1156 and also the CPU Core i5-750 came with the motherboard. Now Core i5-750 is not a great CPU. I would recommend you guys to go with Xeon X3470 just cause you can overclock using this motherboard. So let's look at the motherboard IO real quick. So we have two PS2 port. I don't know if you guys are going to use that. We have a DVI and then we have VGA also. There is six USB 2 port, Ethernet and also audio interface. Now, as you guys can see, uh, I had to jump one red wire from CPU fan. So that CPU fan sensor, I had to jump to system fan sensor. So then every time I boot the system, I don't have to press F1 for like bypassing the system fan arrow. It's really simple, guys. I would highly recommend you guys. Um, I was you know, watching some videos in YouTube, reading in forms and stuff. A lot of people who's using these uh, Dell OEM motherboards, uh, they're having this type of problem. I don't know about HP motherboard, but if you're using like Dell motherboard uh, in a, like a different case, you know, other than Dell case. So if you're using like a Dell T1500 motherboard in like a, you know, aftermarket case, then you should definitely do this mod and save your headache or every time you have to press F1. Now the RAM I went with Patriot Sector 7 DDR3 1600 RAM, but I believe the RAM speed running at around 1333. And also the hard drive I went with Western Digital uh, Scorpio Black. Uh, I believe this hard drive is from a laptop and the speed of uh, 72 RPM. Also, I managed to pick up a Asus GTX 960 Turbo 2 gig variant graphics card for a pretty good deal and this card runs flawlessly without any problem. The card gets little hot just because it's a reference cooler but it still runs pretty good. Um, I have no complaint because I only paid $70. The power supply I'm using is a Diablo Tech power supply. I know you guys don't like this power supply but I've been using this power supply. Like this is like my fourth power supply and runs flawlessly without any problem. Other than that, guys, the system is running flawlessly without any issue. Uh, the cable management is not all that great. You know, it's like ketchup and mustard. But the case I have is a generic case. There is no branding on the case. I picked up this case from Facebook Market for $10. And, well, it's not like, you know, like a good looking case, but it's okay. Uh, it's a $10 case. But the case did come with a CD-ROM, so I was a bit happy. Uh, who cares? Uh, also, it does come with a power bottom. And uh, also, you have two USB ports in the front, the mic uh, jack and the audio jack, and also reset bottom. Other than that, guys, I have no complaint. okay? It's 165 I spent building this PC, and I can play my favorite games. So let's not waste any more time, and let's just jump into the gaming benchmarks. Yeah. 